What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online www.whatsupinthesky.com and I've got a good one for you. It's a pretty cool one today, I must say. We're looking at the mass cam fresh off the rover. This has only been out a day or two. And once again, we've got some really interesting, uh, perfect symmetry, boxly looking things, amazing tube type structures, things that have been hollowed out. Check this out down here. I've seen this. Uh, my boy Shell sent this over with uh, all sorts of things just knocked out and pointed to and everything. I saw this today on one of the Facebook posts. So everybody's been all over these saws. Uh, there's a couple gigapans out that to have them on there and their snapshots. This is just one image from a pretty much whole mosaics. Check these pieces out down here. This is directly from NASA. So what I've done is I've sharpened this one up a little bit. Uh, this is going to have the same color. Now, and then I've got a couple other ones. The one in black and white, one a little bit more color that, that also had a little blur first, and then I sharpened it, so it got out that little fuzz. And then this color, which is a pretty decent one, so it's actually not too bad in the color they sent out. So let's see what we got here. Let's get it back down to that. And let me show you where it is. Just so you, I, you thought I did not make this. This is definitely a shot that came directly from NASA. I will always link the description below if you watch my videos. I say this every single video. Check the description. Check the website because the website has come along. The articles, I, I write an article on every one where basically I write a little blurb on the top and then give you these enhanced uh, pictures. So you'll get like this little piece knocked out and have it up real close. You can check it out, uh, save them to your hard drive. And I also give you the overall picture enhanced as well. So now let's take a look at some of these strange looking, uh, what look like, I think, basically I think we're looking at, oil, if you're new to my, just say this is your first video, uh, I think we're looking at old relics. I don't know if it's machinery here. This looks like some sort of uh, area that had been destroyed and what we're seeing are remnants of a destroyed civilization now that doesn't mean that there's not civilization elsewhere on the planet at this time or that there's not uh, could be life underground could be life anywhere i think that we're looking at right now buried civilization like we would find now uh, gobekli like tempe out um, in mexico and in, in, in the well, south america egypt yeah, even Egypt, you see everything we, a lot of stuff we see, if you go look at the pictures, and I've showed them plenty of times side by side here, they they look very jagged and rigid like these these do. They don't look as smooth as a lot of the rocks that have been worn by the sand over the years, the water, um, and various other areas. So, But this one right here, check that out. I mean, what in the world is this? It's First off, it, it's buried under the sand it looks like but is it a piece of like a piping or is it an actual box it's a very this color you get directly from like directly from the feed back down and uh, these have all been edited and everything from NASA uh, the rover blends some of these pictures together it's already we've already figured that out it's in the it's in the actual pages of how they design these so these aren't actual raw images like they call them uh, they're what they designed to give to us now in about three or four months i'll be able to see this image in a much better quality on the the pds uh analyst notebook if so i'm a, i'll probably link that below for you guys too but look how this stuff looks like debris coming off here and what's so cool is check out like what looks like these piping and even has a, a, a shadow under it so you can pretty much see that it's, it's legit they seem to have um there it's like spherical pieces and with maybe little pipes in between them like a, a little sphere and a pipe and a sphere and a pipe it's next to this piece right here that i know someone's gonna say man that thing looks like a little dinosaur or something it looks similar to what i would think machinery or something would look like like i said that's directly from nasa you can see we don't change it too much um, but look at this stuff see how the things come straight over here's a little bit more of like a little platform and listen, this stuff is probably pretty small coming off of it but who knows i believe that the civilization there is maybe about a third of our size or it could have been more than just one size people look at our just you know even now we've got different uh different size people all around the world so let's check out some more stuff up here pretty cool 
I'll just shut up. Look at that thing. This almost looks like a, uh, and I must say, this looks like the statue of someone or something. It, it's in every, check that out. Like even when it's been blurred and sharpened back up, it looks like it has an eyeball, nose, mouth, and a cone head. And it's next to another piece. It looks like a shrine of some sort. Here, this is cool. You've got a double piece. It's either got a bevel inside of it or it's an actual double piece there. Two S's right here look look to be... Like I said, that's why I think that maybe this was some sort of machinery that's broken down. Nothing, nothing says this has to be rocks. This stuff has been sitting here for a long time and turning these colors. But as you look, the bare filter still picks up color and different colors in a lot of these things. So it hasn't totally worn everything down to the ground. You can see the color change. And that, like I said, this is directly from the NASA video. So watch when we use um, what I've done. That basically pulled it out even more. The color is there, so it's it's beautiful. More here of what these when I say piping, it's either maybe tree or organic stuff that used to be there, or possibly is there. Look, look how it arcs and goes over top of here. You can see under it, you've got the let me get it up here pretty big. It's got one next to it, and under it, you can see right through under there. So pretty cool stuff. I tell you what, awesome times we live in, I must say. Here, I was noticing this piece looks to be kind of a symmetrical box type figure. At the bottom, it kind of gets choppy there. But look at it with the black and white. It seems like it's got some design up at the top or maybe even function to it. This this doesn't seem like living quarters or something. Except for that little shrine piece over there, it looked like. This looks like some you know, stuff that was being used for something, some sort of production. But I could be wrong. It's all speculation. I see what I see. You see what you see. Look at the little, little ring on top of this piece there. There is the, a lot more on this page. Just keep going through it. Let me pull back up my, uh, my color here for a second. See if I can... This up here, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of geometry in that piece and look something that comes up over top and it's got a shadow so you can see and the sun's pretty pretty tall here check out these shadows are wrong here pretty interesting showing you what these this is up here on the top as it comes down the hill that's these ones i wanted to show you right here now here's where this is where angle gets cool so where we were looking at right here that open piece it looks like almost sheet metal. Here, check this one out. It's almost the same piece, but coming out of it has like a rod with a sphere. Let me get in there. A rod with a sphere. Another either sphere there and another one at the end. Pretty cool. These two pieces look similar as they go up. But check out the shadows on this one. This is pretty neat. Whatever. The, the, I'm not sure if these are actual... Uh, because you can't tell from this angle if they're split apart. They're definitely split apart, these two edge pieces. But it looks like it's coming down to a perfect triangle. Here you see that this piece is has a figure eight or an S, backwards S, comes down to a box. So it's not doing that on everything. It's just kind of a box that comes down to it. But either way, they're definitely separated. Pretty cool, I thought. Not the coolest of it all. And everything just looks to be buried. Look, check this piece out. Comes around and down. Let me go up. Looks up. Cool couple ones up here. I'm not keeping you guys too long tonight. It's, this is definitely one to download and put in. I said this is one to go to the website and get get the version that I'm going to put there too, and uh, download some of the enhanced ones. Because like I said, neat stuff. Look at the center of gravity of that rock. Man, I know. Like I said I know. I talked about it. I've already done this video twice now. The computer's been kind of messing up, but look at the ring around this piece. It's got some stuff up there, and that off-center rock, it just looks too cool. It's got, it just looks to have, it almost looks translucent in many ways, but it, it's not. It's just got these different colors in it. Let me take that out. And you can even see them just directly from NASA. This looks like it's got a little, uh, it almost looks like a macaroni. You know, you got macaroni or like the more tubing. You know, maybe it's a connector or something. Who knows? Um, I thought this was pretty cool as well. How this just kind of comes over and dumps over. It looks like more piping everywhere. Oh, and there's one of this right here. This was the big other thing I wanted to show you. Okay. Very light material right here. Totally different. It's uh, in the dark. 
but it's got a lot of brightness to it. The sun, the reflectivity of it is amazing. So whatever this material is, it connects up to this piece right here. Let me get this a little bigger. And it runs some sort of, of piping or chain or something. And that's why I, th I just think there's like a material site or uh, something, maybe old mining, who knows. It runs it up the hill here. And it's perfectly straight. It, it's white. That's not white, but it's lighter than everything else. Let me take it and put it in the black and white. See, even here you see it. So, And it comes up to a little rounded off circle piece. So we're either we're looking at a pathway down, but it seems to have a shadow that follows it a little bit darker with it. So, And that might just be, you know, I might be wrong on that. So, but that still seems to be a pretty interesting piece that just comes down that mountain there. If not, maybe it's just stuff that's come come down here and gotten caught. But let me know what you guys think. You know, there's a couple more up here that just look like blocks. Good old civilization. Once gone. What was here before? Look at the little little squiggly lines on it. This is the stuff. How that's how blocks and stuff look when you when you go to pier like the old pyramids and stuff. And the Mayans. If you go up to uh, once you go up to Machu Picchu, a lot of people have gone there over the years. Here from America, it's a, it's a big destination. Um, I've seen so many pictures. These blocks look like this. They don't look pristine. Some of them do, uh, but the ones that actually were beat up, knocked over. Um, had a lot of people there. Now check this out. There, they look like this type of stuff. They look like they're taking wear and tear from the weather, like we see here, wind erosion. You'd see, I believe, most likely water erosion here. But check these how they got three little points on them, and this just looks more and more like something. Check it out. When I get the color on, hold on. It's different color. See, there's different colors in it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Up here, there's something. There's something on the corner here that was cool too. I mean, you're gonna find all. I know you guys. Like I said, I got the best subscribers. You guys are gonna be like, stop at point zero eight nine and click that button up to the right. You'll see a monkey face, or you'll see a perfect laid out something. I tell you, like this piece I just missed. Look at that. Um, pretty cool here. I almost have. I feel like I'm getting it cold down here. The weather's starting to change on us. Yesterday it was freezing. Today it was gorgeous. Check that thing out. What in the world? I love to see what's next to it. I haven't checked out the saw. But it comes down. It just kind of has some really interesting pieces. In it. Let's see what it looks like without the stuff. It's there. What in the world is this thing? Look how it's cut. It comes down, cut like that, cut straight back out. It almost, it looks. This follows another piece. It looks like it comes out on a bevel a little bit and right around it like it's uh, like built in layers. Oh, that's too cool. Look at it as you pull out. It's a lot of the stuff when you telephoto in, even right here, you, you miss some of it. Look at this thing right here, right next to the, the picture. What in the heck is that? It looks like it's got a uh, like an old ballast tank, old tank, something like that. Too cool. Oh, man, I just love it. I love looking at these pictures. And, and even where the people that come and say, oh, it's all fake. There's no moon. There's no Mars. I'm so tired of hearing it. Go somewhere else. Look at that thing for Halloween. What's that a little spooky for you? What in the world? Now, that's where your eyes would just see a face. But imagine seeing that face staring at you. Oh, there we are. You see it right there in the middle of the screen. I should leave you guys on that, but I want to I want to go back just to the other side here. Just a couple little two. This is the bottom of the picture here. This isn't the bottom by means I think of the hill, but there we are. Let's go back, take a look at our little gnome guy, whatever little definitely little cone head man, and then at the bottom of the hill that's got all the symmetry or all this geometry in it stands our strange box. Our strange tubing. So, whoever else has found that, much love to you guys. All the anomaly hunters rock. The uh, if you haven't checked out the United Family of uh, Anomaly Hunters, which is exclusive uh, Mars images on Facebook, search that Mars Moon Space Club. As always, if you check the website or check the, if you go to my, I actually was. 
messing with my YouTube front page the other day. I made it look a little bit better. I'm going to add some playlists and stuff. Actually try to make it a little bit more professional. Um, all right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you enjoy this series as much as I do. Check the website for the article. It'll be in the link as well. And we're going to get some of this stuff up close for you guys. All right. Take care. I'm going to try not to get sick this weekend. Happy Halloween. If you guys are celebrating, have a good time. Peace.